professionals in science, technology, engineering, mathematics, STEM, and other technical vocations are often male-dominated. This trend tends to promote gender stereotypes, widen the gender wage gap, and limit workforce diversity. The World University Service of Canada has launched a mentorship scheme to empower young women to pursue careers and participate in non-traditional vocational education and skills training. Clinton Yabwa has been following and has more in this report. Non-traditional vocation education and skills training denotes industries and occupations deemed male-dominated. These industries are often in the fields of science, technology, engineering, mathematics, as well as construction, automotive, and other technical professions. The trend has the tendency to fuel gender disparities. The World University Service of Canada, through the Innovation in Non-Traditional Vocational Education and Skills Training, INVEST, has launched the Sumimu Mentorship Program, promoting gender equality and economic empowerment. The Sumimu Mentorship Program seeks to match young women participating in male-dominated TVET sectors with technical professionals in these sectors. The mentorship program will accelerate personal and professional development of mentors and mentees. Public Engagement and Advocacy Advisor of INVEST, Juliana Ohinewa Amuakuchum, indicated the training will allow participants to acquire market-driven and market-relevant skills. And um, what we're doing with the mentorship is to create that uh, platform for mentors and mentees to grow together. I realize that as we sensitize, create awareness and educate the public to consider uh, women who are interested in male-dominated spaces, we don't want to leave them hanging just after the training. Women can actually do things, careers, trades that men are currently doing. And so we should not limit them to the traditionally female-dominated uh, trade areas, you know. Um, provided the person is interested, is passionate about what they want to do, everybody is supposed to support that girl. To acquire market uh, um, demand-driven and market-relevant skills, to have skills that are mainly male-dominated, we think that we further have to go uh, the next level where we would match them with seasoned and accomplished mentors in the space already uh, to be able to guide them, advise them, encourage them, motivate them, and help them kind of uh, surmount their challenges uh, where applicable. Director for Quality Assurance, Accreditation and Planning at the Akenten Apia Minka University of Skills Training and Entrepreneurial Development, Imano Apia Kubi, admonished young females to be daring. And we found that they are capable. Uh, one of the days when we felt that TVET, uh, construction, electrical, mechanical, to mobile industry was for males because it was uh, involving uh, strength and then you needed people with muscles. That is not so anymore because of technology. Now, uh, it's just a matter of learning the skill. You can do it. It's not about strength, it's about intellect, your mindset. And females can uh, do it as well. Too. Gender enthusiast David Opoku Frempon of IET Ghana Limited added that. And as, I, as I'm talking now, we have more than eight females who are in our place learning a, a trade which, was, which is mostly dominated by women. If you come there and you see how the women are working, it's admirable. Even it has increased our customer base. And some people used to come there just to see how the women are working. Reporting for Joy News Clay.